Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 48 I think it is already uh, 48 so yeah as it's custom uh, as it's tradition now in this series uh, every time we make it through a more uh, meaningful episode we gotta get the setup episode usually this is what this is going to be um, probably it's not gonna be you know focus entirely on lore or important stuff but nonetheless it is quite necessary that we do these things obviously uh, however for those of you who don't skip this video because this video will not have timestamps that is a little test i'm doing will not have timestamps so throughout this video i will uh, throw some information scattered in the video uh, that will provide some insight into the um, into what's coming in the next episodes, you know. So yeah, there you have it. Nonetheless, it's been a setup episode and not so relevant as the as the others usually. Uh, still, I think there is things that we're gonna see that are um, important to know when it comes to setting up uh, the all the things that are to come. But as you see, we're still in in Baal's temple, and why that is? Although I close the chapter on this um, on this little adventure of us, misadventure of us there is something I read uh, right after I finished last episode and I never even thought about it and I never done it but uh, as you can, as you remember this is Oren's mother, we read a few things here uh, we got that book that apparently uh, the Dark Urge our character writes on Oren we got a f uh, read a few things written by Orin as well, but the interesting thing, and I never done it, and I didn't know you could do, is that you can just speak with the dead, uh, with Orin's mother, which is f quite uh, interesting. I didn't know you could do that. regards you lifelessly so there you go something something else more for those of you who didn't skip this video okay so remember we got we got five questions only let's see if we can get something out of this where are you from what happened to you who killed you we know or indeed uh, we know this as well She tried to kill Oren. Why do you try to kill your own daughter? I wanted to be both chosen. Saravok told me she must be my offering. I was close. My hand around her throat. Okay, so that's the third question, I think, or I don't even know. Did Ori know that Saravok ordered you to kill her? No. She worshipped him. Loved him. So did I. Where are you from? Last All question. We got another one. Helena Anchev, daughter of Saravok, mother of Orin. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay, so that's fairly interesting. Well, you get what you fucking deserve. So did your father and your daughter and your whole fucking kin they could not stand a chance again this paladin but there it is there you have it 
so we are pretty much done with this area uh, I closed the chapter last episode we are not gonna mingle anymore here we're done with this I spit on all of you so yeah no more need to for us to stay here and uh, we're gonna TP from here but yeah we're gonna go to the lowest city today by the way, those traps, I don't even know how they don't work or something, I don't know. Okay, here we can TP. So, we're gonna go to the lower city. We got a lot of things going. And I think everything is going to be conjoined in the end if we do that right. So, as I said, I want to set up a few things. First of all, I think we're gonna change the character. I think we should bring Lacel around. Oh yeah, and another character will be joining us in the next episode, I will tell you in this episode. But as you know, as I told you, that's for all, that's only for the people who pay attention. You will have to, to wait to, to hear that. Um, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna bench you here for the meantime. Congratulations are in order. I fancied myself the sage advisor. Sworn to guide you through what it means to be a child of Baal. And while I mulled on that solemn responsibility, you went and took care of it on your own. Well done. Truly. The path of a Baal spawn is not an easy one. Nor does it ever truly end. But you found your footing where so many before you have fallen. Wherever you lead from now, we will follow. I wonder if Gortash knows just who it is he is dealing with. Lead then. Nature's servant awaits. Well, that's very nice and all, but we need to venture sure. a little bit. Later then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. Your hair is amazing, but... We didn't even prepare her for what we wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna bring Glacel. You have vanquished the Slayer as I knew you would. You are strong. You are mighty. You are you. Uh, yeah, I love you too. <laughs> so, very well. Um, right. Nothing of concern today. Done. Very well. Right, sorry for the cut. Uh, you know how, it is, how this is, set up episodes and whatnot. I'm really glad that you have decided to stick around, lads. Especially for, for this sort of episode, you know how they never do good. But never mind, we have barely any spell. We have nothing, we're gonna take a little rest. Uh, no, you, still. It's better that way. So, let's check. Nobody needs to talk to us. Fair enough. Oh, is that cinematic? Ah, oh, no, no, no. Oh, it is. Get up. There's something you should see. Oh, what's going on? I know it's early, but this couldn't wait. Oh. Watch. I used to hate that sight. The glowing sky. The long shadows, the fading stars. I lived for the red of blood and the black of death. Now, I see the colors between. Look at the sun. What do you see? Oh. Yes. And something else, too. Beauty. 
The dawn was my torment. Rustling leaves, agony. I couldn't wait to escape this place. Now, I revel in it. I revel in you. You showed me the betweens and beyonds. Between war and peace. Beyond passion and obsession. Most importantly, you showed me freedom. There's more, but I don't know how to say it. I don't know what to call it. I just know whatever comes next, I want you near. When all this is over, Will you stay with me? For good? Shaq von Vindu, source of my joy. So yeah, I didn't want to talk to not ruin the moment. <laughs> uh, that was amazing. That was truly amazing. But very well, lads. To the matters ahead, as usual. We got the thing with this wizard going on. Remember that? Alien is waiting for our signal to go and confront him. We got the mission at the bank as well. We had to retrieve the money, if you guys remember, we got um, almost 20k money. Almost 20k gold, that's because... Uh, we retrieved the 10,000 that were stolen when we rescued Minsk. So we might as well go to do that as well. I said as well twice in that sentence. But in any case, are you happy that we married Lysel? Oh, and we ain't bringing Minsk, so probably he'll say something. I don't know. Because he, uh, last time he was here, he was the Stone Lord. You guys remember that? With the fake Yahira and the Mimic. For those of you who are still here, Next episode, we're taking Will with us. Very important stuff happening. Yeah, keep it a secret though. Missora might meet here and something like that. But we're here at the vault passageway. Uh, remember? Okay. These are all the, the dudes that we killed. You see, everyone's talking about Minsk. Uh, about how he's bad now and all of that. He isn't, obviously. in shadows of you come back for you have been the subject of many wrinkled brows between my hamster and I Sir banker beard on the one hand you are clearly evil and deserving of a mouthful of righteous knuckle <laughs> but on the other hand the one in which boo sits and pleads your case at the time of our last meeting Minsk was the evil one so, we are not agreed on whether we will return here and feed you to a mimic yet. I see. Well, by all means, keep me up to date. <laughs> uh, very well. Uh, 
yeah, we're gonna give the coin back. 10,000 lads. I mean, we're a good, uh, a and good doer. Gods, you're a boring bastard. Me sure. too, I suppose. Because I'm not even tempted to scam you. Take this vault key. You'll find something by way of thanks inside. Oh, well, we are giving a key and 2,000. Not too bad. I mean, it's uh, a vault 9, he said. It's not that one, right? Vault 9 key. It's not that one, is it? I already took everything from there and it was a fucking Mondongo. It was nothing of value. It is. <laughs> oh, very well. Well, that's what it's got to be the... That's what it comes with being the good guy, you know? I hope this won't affect my bonus. The true work working man of the day a true working man of the day indeed but very well we got that done um i think what we're gonna do now all we could do we could go and do the um, the night song thing with that guy Loroakan. Uh, this this public city is very noisy. Let's get out. Uh, we got that deal with the steel watch still going. So this is very important actually. So I, if you didn't skip the video and especially this part, you are in luck. I'm gonna explain a few things for you. So you guys remember we met with the with the deep gnomes, the Iron Hand clan. Those are in some sort of quarrel with the Condians, which are like not deep gnomes, the normal, more, the other kind of gnomes. So, the Iron Hand clan, it's blacksmith and gunpowder workers. They got that rune powder thing that is what they're famous for. The Condians are more like arcane mechanics. The Condians are the ones that made the steel watch. And the plan we've been carrying so far it's that uh, we, because we spoke with the Iron Hand clan, you guys remember they, they gave us a I don't even have it I think like a special grenade uh, to just go and destroy everything that's got to do with the everything that's got to do with the, um, with the steel watch and the the Gondians, basically. So, we're gonna go and see about that. I'm gonna go take a look on what's going on. I think it's uh, over there in the port. If everyone failed the perception check, that's insanity. Whoa, whoa, oh, mate. this is the last place you need to be. Clear off, yeah. Uh, very well. So. There is many things to do this, uh, but we're just gonna go through. Why can't I be here? <laughs> Two words: guild business. Only an idiot gets between them and their shipments. Well, we are friends with the with that guild, aren't we? Deception. Well, I think we are, aren't we? Oh. Okay, there you go. That's a setup episode roll. Okay, we're gonna use one of these. <laughs> Why didn't you lead with that? I trust you're gonna balance the books too, yeah? A thousand more? Well... Yeah, why not? We still got lots Measure of gold. Better clear it out before the first um... I'm pretty sure you can go through here different ways. Although it's a very narrow place, so you might get caught anyway. In any case, let's see what we got here. Oh, I can open this now. Uh, it's not stealing. Thermal iron. If that ain't good. Mm 
Mm, not much, but at least the iron, the, the infernal iron, it's um, what do you call it? It's uh, expensive, sort of. So there's a steel watch as well. Uh, okay. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but I know what's going on. So I need to go to camp real quick. You guys see, uh, we'll see why in a bit. But from everything that we got, <laughs> look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Full of daggers. Oh my god! It's one particular thing that I need that I don't think I have. Water. Yeah. Why water? Well, you'll see. So, anyway, there's nothing around here. The steel watch is not uh, attacking us. That's a good thing. What's going on here? Volo! Can explain. You have done quite enough explaining, Volotham Gadam. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide what? behind a mask of stories we have seen beyond the veil, we see what you really are, fearmonger. Hear, hear! Attention seeker! Hear, hear! What? Agent Anything of else? chaos! Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Oh, he's got a tadpole. The hells follow! Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer. For today, we rise in truth. Volo? Volo Thamp Gedarm? This man is no enemy of the people. This man could not even hurt a mouse. I know. I have seen him try. <laughs> Release this man at once. What's this? Another heretic in our midst. What's this whole Another thing? I don't understand what's going on. Did by the disruptor's lies. Another soul to cleanse. Well, we are nothing if not gracious. Let us see if we cannot lift the veil from their eyes, too. Okay, so I guess Volo did something that got him in trouble, or said something, more likely. Oh, what? That's a... Explosive barrels. So... I explained you the thing here. Uh, I don't even remember how much... Uh, how many turns we got? Seven? Because it's uh, that's the rail card uh, points basically, and that's why I brought water because I don't even remember how you are supposed to do this. I don't know if you can untie him and Volo goes away. I'm not entirely sure. I rather not trust the NPC uh, on that matter, quite frankly. Very well. So, Starion, let's see what we can do. Yeah, Volo, it's, it's back. It's back. Okay, there you are. You point, I punch. Something I didn't do with Minsk that I wanted to do. I don't really know why I didn't. I wanted to put the uh, orange staggers on him instead of the air stocks. Uh, I think I'm gonna place him right in the middle because I want to use my character to fly. 
Ouch. Oh, there you are. She's looking for a starion. Very well. Laisel is back. She misses. Remember that the thing is laser has got that sort of red deer stone effect. So once her HP is half, uh, she makes insane damage. Which is why in it's gonna be very usual that I don't heal her much, or that I keep her health or around there. Where do I go from here? Okay, where do I go from here? I'm gonna go all the way here. That's why I wanted the water. I'm gonna see if I can cease the fire. Ah, uh, here it is. Hope this ends well. Right. I think it's all right, right? Not entirely sure. Very well. I want to stay close, so I'm just going to use the bow on this guy. It's going to help a little. I do that as a reflex, I don't even want to use it, quite frankly. Still invisible. Didn't he get, like, uh... Revealed. Weep if you wish. Minsk will not judge. <laughs> Very well. Um okay. Who says smite? That means I must teach you very hard, I think. I will not know failure. <laughs> There we are. On the move. Still on my feet. Mm, I cannot move over here. Well, I guess I can risk it, right? Time to press ahead. Yeah. Right. What now, Volo? He's leaving. Of course he's leaving, that's all he does. He took my eye and left. I don't know if you guys remember that. That, that was like episode 10 or 11. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, let's see. Well, they got nothing of concern, really. Oh, this guy's got a tadpole. Uh, just to make sure. You know, you never know. Absolute nada. Absolute nothing. Where's Volo? There, there he is. You were, if it wasn't for I me. Suppose thanks are in order. Again, what's an heroic story without a little risking of one's neck, eh? And you know what they say, the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> this guy. People will uh, know what I mean. I'll uh, 
tell you what I know, but not here. Too many eyes, ears, weapons about. Meet me at your camp, hmm? Oh well, he's back. Volo is back. Fellow tail spinner. Very well. So, okay. Here's the Steel Watcher stuff, the Steel Watcher Foundry. This is where we're gonna be going to. Uh, this is where we got the mission with the Iron Hand clan. And in order to destroy everything, to, to, to shut them down for, uh, for good. But if you go that way, over there, there's a little thing going that's pretty interesting. So I'm gonna show it to you. Queen of the Depths, hear me. Please carry Holly to her final rest in the deep wilds. Please... Sorry, are you here for a wave servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started out, they're just inside. Well, this uh, lady is somewhat of... Um... Ah, uh, well, how could I say ocean people? Or they, they worship an ocean goddess or something like that. You'll see. Uh, am I interrupting the funeral? Is that what the singing is for? Yes. Oh, please, you're most welcome. So this is a funeral. Much to be thankful for. May the wave mother smile on you as she did Holly. Right. So, do you have it? This is Wave Mother, I think. There's enough offerings in here for a trip to the vault. Off you go. You can hear that song, it's supposedly a funeral. For this most holy death. Rejoice, sisters. For Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss. Her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's. But a suffocating flood of fruitless guards and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? Oh. Uh... Revenge? Yes. Then you know as well as Umberly that blood must soon be shed. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. What's this? Holly. Holly. Umberly's beloved wave servants. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the Wave Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. The song is amazing, quite frankly. But yeah, there you go. This is some sort of a uh, mission as well. Maybe I could help. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her. And her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. Oh. This precious gift isn't drowning, is it? Where can I find the beast master? The beast struck Holly while she was swimming in Grey Harbor. She was found by some fishermen. We haven't found its lair as yet. 
Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. Very well. Uh, sure. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Right. So, that is another mission that will be conjoined onto one of our previous missions. So, I hope you've been paying attention. There is some fishermen around that you can ask for hints and, and whatever. I already know what it is, so I'll take you anyway. It doesn't matter. Very well. So, a few things here. This is the, the Steel Watch Foundry. And we need to get in. However, it's always tricky. You know, there's the Steel Watch going around. Uh, I think that it's another one around here. Maybe we can't see him just yet, but yeah, there is more than one. Um, I've been looking around. I've been looking around and I don't think you can get in a different way. So we're just gonna go through with this. We're gonna... What do you Get in. You've wandered into a forbidden area. Right. You sense it might be time to leave. Uh, I shall remove myself immediately. Try to convince them you belong here. Hmm. It's me, your old friend. Persuasion. I'm here, aren't I? You wouldn't have let me in if I didn't belong. Oh, okay. Managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. So, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure if we can just walk around now. Though it seems so, although. It no. It seems the rules have not changed in your absence. You're still trespassing. Very well. No other choice. These guys are tough. Yes, but remember, we hit, a, we, we hit hard now. We are really well constructed. Ah, but they're still pretty tough. Now, the thing with the steel watch. Oh, really? The, steel, the thing with the steel watchers is that when you have hit them uh, properly, they will start to explode. Basically. So. When that starts to happen, you just want to, to haul us out of there. So he's going to hit, hopefully me. Well. What can you do, right? Right, so that's half. I will ascend. Mm, I'm immobile. Immobile. Cannot do anything. Right. I don't entirely remember what is the point in which they start to combustion and explode. Okay, there it is. You can see the range there, the red circle, so we just wanna get out. That is not a good thing. Oh no. He laser us out. Astaire and I are not. There you go. Well, it wasn't too bad. I remember it worse. Enrich Infernal Iron. I wonder if we can go to Damon, who is in the city, and give him give him these things. Very oh, pretty good. Uh... No, I think I'm just gonna give him a potion or two.
we just uh, we just rested, so. No one stopped me yet. But in any case, this is the Steel Watch Foundry. As you can see here, we can no longer re um, GP or rest once we get in. It's locked. Well, hello. Starion. A crooked touch. Crooked touch. Very well, so this is where the Gondians construct uh, their Steel Watchers. And... Okay. There's people over there. Simply want to avoid risking your I had to dispose of her. <gasps> Perish the thought. We're comrades in arms. I will be right behind you. Oh god, these two are amazing. Oh, but well, yeah, they are bad people. So, the Gondians are being instructed by uh, Gortash. Gortash people, basically. To arms! Wait, no! To swords! Uh. I really should have given him the boots. The boots with the. with the Misty Step to uh, Minsk. I will ascend. That way he could have. Uh, you know, TP in here, ready to to start hitting. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Mm. Yeah. What path lies before me? Just gotta wait until they get closer. Oof! Don't have this shot. Very well. Fist of Bane. So Bane, it's uh, the god, uh, as I explained to you, uh, a few, uh, quite a few episodes ago. It was quite a long time ago already. Uh, Bane is the other god. The god that... Um, Gortash worships and the key. Congratulations, son. Uh, we are so proud of you uh, for finally landing a job with a future. Lord Gortash will go far, and you were right to hit yourself to his star. <laughs> well, Pais is especially pleased at how you're carrying on the Throke's name. In fact, he's taking me out to the Elfstone right now to celebrate. Say hello to that sweet Tamia Hulls for me. Mm, well, didn't end. Didn't end too well, did it? Well, poor thing. He just wanted a job. Oh. You are asking the impossible. Gyronetics require a steady hand and a sharp gaze. I can barely keep my eyes open. I need to rest. You have a son, do you not? Is he as oh. lazy and pathetic as his spineless mother? Wait! Stay your hand, I beg you! Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. Tell me, Gondian. Tell me about your son. He's not... <sighs> yes. Overseer Holt. He's frail in body and mind like me, like all of us. Yet by your grace, he lives. And your wife? She is... was... useless. And interfered with production quotas. You were wise to remove her from this world. Forgive my outburst. I will work through the night. This Watcher will be operational by dawn. I will allow it. 
But if your work is anything short of impeccable, your son will die screaming. Is that clear? Yes. Overseer Holtz. Very well, so that's pretty obvious what's going on here. These are the Gondians, the gnomes. They create, they make the build, uh, the steel watchers. They got them on precarious uh, circumstances here, obviously. They are being, um, well, extortion, right? By this black gauntlet, Fist of Bane. Bane, as I told you, is the god that uh, Gortash worships. And here's the thing, as I told you before, the Gondians and the Iron Hand clan have this sort of quarrel, sort of clash, right? What they don't know is that they are, uh, well, being obligated, basically. They are being threatened with the lives of their families and whatnot to keep building them. So, our mission now as a paladin is to see if we can manage and bring an end to all of this Steel Watcher stuff, but sparing the Gondians. Red brother, stand ready. Gondians, so much as twitch, and I'll rip your tongues out myself. You recognize the Overseer's uniform. She's a follower of Bane, the god of tyranny. Right. Forgive the interruption, Red Sister, I just arrived for duty. You can help Gondians, you can die. Gondians fight back. Right. Oof. Let's go. An interloper? How did you get in here? It matters not. You revealed yourself for nothing. The Gondians wouldn't know a spine if I ripped it from their backs and beat them with it. You're wrong. Even if we beg, even if we humiliate ourselves, it won't matter. You'll kill us all anyway. What was that? I said, we shall bow no more. For the glory of God! Oh, well, there you are. Hey. Anyway, well, so... Is the Bane, Black Conlet. Is that it? These guys don't know who they're messing with. Look at that. We are so broken, lads. Don't you think? Oh. Motivation sequence activated. Oh shit. I don't make it. Swallow your battle cries, fiend, and wash them down with steel. What do I do? Oof, minus one. <laughs> oh, that is just that is fate. Just the width of your whiskers, boo. And that it's that it's quite literally what it what happened. Oh my god. We got a six minus one and it gives us the five. That is insane. That's insane. Very well. Let's see what you guys got. Oh I don't make it. Resistance thing. Mm. Blur. Ninety three. Okay. May the gods take you first. We're not going to be using our execution with this lot. 
Look at that. It's Lisa. No, she's not yet on half HP. When she gets to the half HP, she gets the the boost, and you can you can tell because she's oh this guy's about to die. You can tell because this uh, her eyes it are glowing and she's got an aura around her and all that. Okay, we save this guy. To glory or glorious death. Okay. Good. We saved him. There we are. What's going on? They're all dead. I can't help you anymore. No. You don't understand. The overseers hold more than our lives hostage. They have our families. And if they see what we've done, killing me will only be the beginning. Go and help us. Very well. Kill switch protocol. Prince, uh, Prince Kiss motivator this is a supreme banite means of ultimate coercion. But it is useful solely as a deterrent and not as a weapon. When triggered, the user has only moments to deactivate it uh, before the prison. Okay, so this. This doesn't even matter anymore. We already deactivated it. Um, nothing else. Lads, calm down, you're making me nervous. I need to dispose of them. Anyway. So the thing is, you see those necklaces they they have. I don't know if I, she has anything else to say. Well, no. But those necklaces obviously if someone's someone realizes what's going on, uh they activate them or whatever and everyone dies. Everyone wearing them. I got the key, I think. Right. So, we gotta get into this... Um, into the manufactory, the deeper level of the manufactory. Oh. And trying to deactivate them all. Oh, he's blind. Your nervous gait betrays your presence, stranger. You don't belong here. Who are you? You have to take down the steel watch. What? Go away. Your presence imperils us all. If any of us attempts to escape, our kin will die. Yeah. The overseers, they have a contraption. When triggered, it will kill everyone who wears a collar. Can you remove the collars? You underestimate the enemy. The overseers, they are Glicksbran Rakfar. The collars are not only equipped with explosives, there is also a mechanism that alerts the overseers if they're removed. One of us may be able to save themselves, but it would be at the expense of everyone else. We can't risk it. Worst case scenario, you die fighting well, well. If it were only our lives on the line, we'd have rebelled long ago. Our families are held elsewhere. The overseers need only activate those contraptions they hold, and they suffer the consequences of our actions too. 
We cannot win. We must aid in building these Vagron. Well, there it is. That's very interesting converse, uh, information. The families are being held somewhere. Would you fight back if I free your families? Gun, gun. I. Even more. I'd help you destroy this place. Where are your families being held? I don't know where they are. But some of the overseers must. You have to infiltrate deeper into the foundry. Just make sure you don't get caught. If they raise the alarm, they'll trigger the collars. I will pray for you. My daughter. Her name is Obinia. Gond Ralfraka's Hulnish. May Gond be with you. Very well, so there you have it. We'll have to uh, infiltrate deeper into the foundry. It hasn't been long. A diagram of mechanical design and not just written, just so, ridged just so, so you know fingers can uh, trace out their shapes just so you see how mm, precise i play in this series and whatnot we just got three missions in the next uh next episode right including the one from the water worshiping ladies that we just met guess what all of them conjoined in the last episode <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but that's for later. So, I explain you the movie right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save here. I don't even know what the, what's here. Well, there's nothing here. Anyway, so here. There is uh, there is no other way. another place like uh, of building. Restricted area, entrance only with Lord Gortash's permission. Violators will be executed. Right. So if we get here, we're gonna get out really quickly. We don't wanna be in here. Actually, I'm just I'm gonna do this instead. So you see, it's Gondians. There is the Steel Watchers. We gotta get out. We cannot be seen. And that's the thing. When you get here and you encounter them... Um, with corpses. Build my castle. You start fighting them all. You start killing them all. And that can work or, or not. Uh, you can do something else. You can get... Um, you can do this lever that is up here. Use that. And that opens the door here, right in the front of everything, where we had the fight. So you have the, the path uh, over there, and you have the path here. It's an elevator. If you take it down, uh, the fight starts right away. It's the same place, but from the other end. And I've done a few things. I sent a Styron on Invisibility Potion. I tried to do a lot of things. But you're gonna progress because when you unlock the door that leads you to progress, uh, the alarm is activated and everyone that's wearing a necklace, a color, dies. Everyone dies. So, uh, yeah. I thought it would be a short episode, quite frankly. This is this is the setup episode for the things to come. I try to explain you a little bit more of the 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 clash between the Gondians and the Iron Hand, um, the Water Ladies uh, over there. They giving us a mission. Um, why is this important? Because it all points out that all the missions can join at some point. And in case you made it to the end of the video, we are going to try and save Duke Ravengard next time. We're going to take Will with us. So, I hope you enjoy it.
um, I re I'm, I'm really glad, I really appreciate if you made it to the end of this video particularly. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.